Welcome, I'm Crafty Mary Ann. Today let's make some turkey stock. Turkey stock, we're going to use the following ingredients. We're going to be using the bones from the turkey. We have the backbone, we've got some neck bones, a couple of wings, and then we had spatchcocked the turkey uh, a month or two ago for making the smoked turkey recipe, so we'll be adding that as well. We have two pounds of onions, one pound of celery, one pound of carrots. So when you go to make a stock, you need that ratio of 50% onion, 25% celery, and 25% carrot. I did weigh these. Um, usually I don't, I just kind of eyeball it, but I um, wanted to make sure I got it really spot on today. I also have a tablespoon of thyme, a tablespoon of parsley flake, five bay leaves, and about 20 peppercorns. So one thing that'll help you when you're making your stock is roughly knowing what size you need everything to be. You don't have to have it all this size, it can be bigger or smaller, um, but I find that if you take your onion and you cut it into a quarter, that's the right size. You can go smaller, you can go larger, um, but then you've got your celery and your carrots, you know, about four inches long. Oops, there we go. Um, there are different kinds of stock you can make. There's fish stock, chicken stock, poultry stock, pork, beef, venison, whatever you've got, you can always use the bones to boil down for a stock. The main difference on what kind of stock you're making, it will be the boil time. Because you want to bring everything in the pan up to a simmer and keep it at a simmer and then strain off any of the cooky stuff that comes up. Um, but for instance, a fish or a seafood stock, you boil anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes, that's all. And you use a little bit different of a mirepoix. You wouldn't put any uh, carrot in it, you would just use parsnip instead of carrot. And then your stocks that are pork, chicken, and beef, those take longer to cook. Chicken you handle a little bit differently, but pork and beef you tend to baste the bones with ketchup, oven roast them with the veg, and then put them in the pot to cook them into stock. As you can see, after about 30 minutes we're starting to get some little bubbles in here. And so we want to take our heat and turn it down, because that's the kind of simmer that we want. Just a little bit, we don't want it to hard boil. Now is the time when you want to start scraping some of this gucky foam off of here. Um, you can also give it a little bit of a stir to maybe try and bring some together. Make sure your herbs are down in the water. If you're worried about your herbs being loose in your stock, you can always put them in and make a little sachet garni. You'd use the same things except you'd put them all in a little cheesecloth bag and put them in here. I strain mine at the end so I don't bother with the sachet garni personally. Right, well we're looking good. All right, well we're at the two hour mark and still skimming off some of that foam that, that uh, isn't so pretty. Everything's looking great. And I know I can see, which I'm not sure if you can see or not, but you can see that there's a bit of fat coming up and around and on everything. That's some, not something you need to worry about because once you have it strained and you chill it, once it chills, that fat will solidify and it'll be really easy to take it off so you can have a nice lean stock. Just checking in on it, we're still looking good. You can see that uh, we've boiled down uh, about an inch now, so two finger widths. Still got time to go on it. All right, we're three and a half hours in. Now we're at about four or five hours and everything's still looking good. It's simmering down the way it should. So we'll check back again in another hour. Now we're six to seven hours in on this simmering of our stock and it's still looking good and coming together. You can see that we've come down about two inches from the original line and just a few more hours and we'll be able to strain it. We're sitting at about nine hours now that this has been simmering and uh, it's looking really good. It's ready to be strained and then we'll be able to jar it. Great, look at it. We've got the stock and it's cooled down. The fat has risen to the top. It'll be really easy to scrape off and then we just need to strain it and we have some yummy stock. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining Crafty Marianne.